Me. yards why'd she look up here my wind was good she bounced out to 20 and I sent it she ducked I thought it was perfect I heard it hit her but she didn't run like she was hit good that's terrible I'm going to look at the footage and see if I got it on camera or not. I don't think I did. Now that it's over and I've calmed down, I just have to laugh about that. That's crazy. So when I went to draw the bow, I was in an awkward position like this. I was pulling up and pushing down. And my finger lifted the arrow up off the shelf. And that's just a rookie mistake, I guess. I don't think I'm going to stick around any longer, though. I think that's it for today. I really want to get down and see that arrow. I'd look at it in the tree. That's ridiculous. Alright, I'm back out for the evening. Same day that I stuck that tree shooting at that doe. Last night, after I saw that buck chase those does back into that thick bedding area, I was driving out of the property. And uh, just before I got to the road, on the other end of the property, I saw the same three or four does coming out of the tree line. I'm sitting about 100 yards inside that tree line, right up against the back side of that bedding area. Followed a couple of deer trails till they got close to the creek bottom. And uh, two or three look like they go right underneath this tree. I've never sat here before. So we'll see what happens. I think that's going to do it for this morning. After those bears came through, I didn't see anything else. Tonight I'm going to move to the other end of the property. There have been some deer coming through there in the evening. 
Um, I think I'm going to set up up there and get a good look over the field tonight. I think I walked from one end of this field to the other three times. I was out here for like an hour looking for a spot to put this tree stand. I still didn't find a spot I really like, but I've been putting a lot of pressure on that ridge top over the two creeks and um, I may go back in there tomorrow but I'm just gonna hunt the ladder stand. There have been some deer using this field in the evening. I'm hoping to see them and at least get a better idea of uh, what they're doing over on this side of the property. I haven't been out here in several weeks. Late season hunting is hard here especially when you don't have food. It's a uh, pretty random movement. At least it's not raining anymore. Made for a tough sit. I'm still damp, like to my skin, but part of that sweat too. It's about 45 degrees out here right now. Odd weather for December. I'll have to apologize for not getting what happens next on camera. At the shot, I watched the arrow drop into the deer, but well past its last rib. Obviously, I felt terrible about putting a shot like that on an animal. Even though the deer was stopped when I did take the shot, it took a step forward to follow those does it was pushing up the hill as the arrow was in the air. In all the excitement and the pressure to get my first traditional archery kill, I made a poor judgment call in shooting at this animal. The deer required a follow-up shot, which I took while it laid in its bed. And that arrow found its mark cleanly and put the deer down within a few seconds. This deer harvest was the end of an incredibly blessed hunting season for me. I filled every tag that I had. I took a turkey, a bear, and six deer. One of those, of course, being just a euthanization of an injured animal. I can't take credit for all of this success. There's many people that I could thank, but most importantly is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Hunting is just a supplemental joy in my life. But I've thoroughly enjoyed being able to document it and share it with other people. I'm especially grateful to my wife who's put up with all of my adventures and being gone from the house. I'm thankful to the property owners who let me hunt on their property. Traditional archery has been something I've always wanted to take on. This hunt taught me a lot of lessons. Just because you can make a shot doesn't mean you should make a shot. There are too many other factors at play with traditional archery that leave room for a lot of mistakes. I'm going to continue hunting with traditional archery equipment and practice throughout the year. Even more than the time I spend practicing, I'll need to improve in discipline. These are areas that I'm going to try to grow in throughout the next year and come back into next season fresh with a better perspective and Lord willing be just as successful. I'll roll in a few images here of the deer after it's been harvested. Even though I wish the situation had played out a little bit differently, I feel it's only fitting that in picking up a struggle stick the process of success won't be easy. I want to say thank you to everybody who's followed along with my channel and watched these videos. And I can honestly say in filming each of these hunts it's actually increased my appreciation for the time I've spent in the woods. I don't think I've taken a single moment for granted even with the filming gear. Now I get to relax with family and enjoy the holidays for the rest of the year. As always, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching, and God bless.